Hi, welcome uh, to this show called City Sense. And uh, today we are in South Africa, in the city of Johannesburg, like you can see at the back. And the city in itself speaks volumes and volumes of the struggles against the apartheid system, the museums, and whatnot. And uh, we've come here, we've assembled for an International People's Assembly uh, for reinvigorating ourselves on the structures of future of socialism. What could be the socialist structures? And these socialist structures cannot bypass where 55%, more than that, in fact, of humanity resides, and that's in the urban world. Uh, when we talk about city sense, it's not just cities in the global south, but across the world. And uh, today we have uh, with us uh, the mayor of uh, a city called Ricoleta, in the, which is in the north of Santiago, uh, Comrade Daniel, thank you for joining us. Comrade Daniel has come all the way from Latin America, from Chile, uh, who in himself is uh, an institution, I mean, who fought the struggle and now is leading the cities. What is it that we want to discuss? You know, we've seen across the globe that cities are becoming unsustainable. They're becoming centers of exclusion, centers of capital accumulation, why is it that the cities which should have been centers of, uh, of participatory democracy, centers of democratic governance, are slowly and slowly turning out to be the most exclusionary spaces uh, in the globe. In such a scenario, we have some spaces, we have some, uh, 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 some interventions where, like in the intervention that we were talking with Comrade Daniel, how cities can be more participatory, how they can be inclusive, how they can be made livable for the people. Thank you so much, Dano, for joining us. And the first question, I mean, it's lovely. It was really lovely to hear you in the, uh, in the Congress as well. Uh, but what I intend to know, you know, most of our viewers are from India, from, from South Asia. Uh, generally, there's a trend that we found in South Asia, you know, what I was trying to build up. Uh, cities have become centers of capital accumulation, number one. At the same time, also for more technocentric solutions, and which further robs the people from whatever wealth and assets they have in their pocket. How are you viewing? I mean, what is the size of your city? And you know, you've come from a movement, a movement that has been for a pretty long, protracted struggle. Uh, how are you viewing it uh, in the larger context? And then coming specifically to your city, you know, uh, in Santiago, uh, and yeah. what are the challenges that you face here? Yeah. We have made a political project based on on the uh, issues that our party, the Communist Party in Chile, uh, try to put into all the society. You know? uh, the objective of uh, our city is to make the life of the people more cheaper, okay. more easier, okay. and uh, more not complex. Okay. No. So how do you do more, that? More, more simple. Yeah. No. Okay. The first thing is trying to make the people free of the dictator of salary. Oh, that's oh. interesting. Yeah. <laughs> it's so interesting. Yeah. Because uh, the most of the people have a salary that uh, don't cover all the needs in a month. Mm -hmm. So if you can make all the things more uh, needed mm -hmm. for the people, more cheaper than in the market. Mm -hmm. Now, you can make an upgrade of the salary, mm -hmm. uh, but no directly, indirectly. Mm -hmm. What are some of the... So what do you, how do you do that? I mean, no. yeah. yeah. Uh, we in Chile have the medicine okay. more uh, expensive mm -hmm. than all the world. Mm -hmm. No, uh, the same medicine than in Europe, no, used to cost one dollar. In Chile, used to cost six or ten dollar. Oh, yeah, okay. this uh, a really a boost. Mm. So we in our city put a, a local pharmacy. Mm. Okay, this it's a, a city a municipal. Okay, pharmacy. oh, that's interesting. This doesn't it's exist in all of here. Uh, as history yeah. in Chile, no? And in this uh, pharmacy, you can find all the medicines at a 
20% of the cost in the market. Market, okay. The second uh, example, more uh, more stronger, it was the glasses, mm -hmm. no, for the people. Mm -hmm. uh, near for 60% need glasses mm. in our country. Mm. And uh, a glass is, uh, again, uh, the glass is more expensive on all, all over the world. Mm. No? You can uh, need a glass, a simple glass, mm. to myopy and astigmatism, mm. uh, maybe about $100. Mm -hmm. In the popular uh, optical, mm -hmm. you can find the same uh, in uh, $15. Okay. No. We make the same with the books because for us it's so important the cultural change and the cultural access and the cultural uh, participation. With the culture participation. Yes. Yeah. Uh, it's three different things. Mm. No? Access and participation in culture. Mm. So uh, we make a deal with all the editorials. Mm -hmm to give us the price that they give the same price to all the uh, libraries, mm -hmm. you know, the bookstores. Uh, and we pay in all the examples, mm -hmm. all the uh, operational costs, and okay. we translate the cost of uh, buying to cost of selling. Okay. So we can make uh, an effort like municipality, like local government, uh, to make the books 60% cheaper mm -hmm. than in the market. Mm -hmm. Then we make the same with the housing. Yeah, that, that's what I was more, yeah, yeah. Yeah, keen at We ask. began to build... How, what is the population of the city? Uh, 220,000 Okay, people, okay. You know? And we began to build uh, apartments, mm -hmm. but for the municipality, mm -hmm. and we rent the apartment. Oh, that's interesting. Uh, but for the we, for the right, workers. Yeah. Uh -huh. But we rent uh, with the top with a limit in the cost, mm -hmm. and the limit in the cost uh, that you have to pay mm -hmm. is the twenty percent of your salary. Oh, okay. This is very interesting. So every month one has to pay twenty one uh, of the, the salary. Twenty percent. Every salary. month. Every month. For how long? you can decide. Oh, okay, that's interesting. But uh, it's huh. more interesting okay. because today huh. uh, a rent of an apartment yeah. in Chile can take the 75% of, of the salary. Savings, okay, of the salary. So the rest of the, your salary mm. don't let you yeah. give the, your family yeah, yeah. Uh, food, mm -hmm. uh, education, mm -hmm. culture, mm -hmm. anything, mm -hmm. sports, anything. Mm -hmm. No. So this is very interesting. Mm -hmm. uh, because in the bad times, mm -hmm. the 20% of your salary, when your salary becomes zero, mm. is zero. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no? And what is the size because of the, the apartment? For us, yeah. the right is not to have a house. Oh. To have a house like property. Yeah, yeah. It's important. Yes. We are building uh, a lot of houses to give uh, to the people like property. Okay. But not all can uh, ac uh, accept to uh, yeah. So for us, uh, the correct right is to live in dignity. That's a, I think more important, no. not just as an asset, but also as a dignity. Yeah. What is the size of the apartment that you are constructing and you are handing it over to the workers? In Chile, the the market give to the families of. To, uh, of four persons, four uh, a, med a medium family, uh, near than 50... Uh, square meter. 50 square meters. Okay, no. that's okay. Uh, but in our case, uh, we are given 60. Okay. No? Okay. But uh, 60 in the house. Mm -hmm. No? But out the house, in the apartment, you have in each floor uh, a space about... 200 square meters oh. uh, to the children. Okay, 200. Because okay. We uh, understand uh -huh. that uh, the uh, parents that live uh, 
over the third floor. Mm. Don't let the uh, children go to play. Mm -hmm. That's interesting. So every yeah, floor design, has every floor. Design. That's interesting design. The design is uh, gender design. Mm. No, and we uh, used to make a design not with uh, to the adults only. Mm -hmm. We make a design to the adults, to mm -hmm. the uh, uh, young people, to the old people, mm -hmm. no, and to the uh, women and to the men. Mm -hmm. No, it's a, a gender design made with the people. Mm -hmm. No, uh, it's the same to the apartment that we built to give them in property, mm -hmm. but but all the form. But, to make the decisions in our city is with the people, nothing without the people. That's interesting. There's two more. I mean, I, I just got curious when and, you were. And there's a lot of another examples like in the schools. Yes. We have a director, okay. a directory. Now, and this directory is formed uh, by the representative of the owner, that is the local government. Okay. You know? Uh, two representatives of the parents, of okay. the no, yeah. two representatives of the students, oh. two representatives of the teachers, and two representatives of the assistants of education. Okay. No, so, and this has a directory who takes all the decisions into the school. Oh, that's interesting. And the same yeah. we made it in the um, in the health okay. centers. Okay. No. So the people, we understand the participation uh, like an continuous exercises and mm -hmm. quotidian exercises. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, I mean, you just made me curious and the two more questions that I, no. and since I know that you are an architect, I'm also sorry. a sociologist. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, you know, because uh, I have also been... My special is the <laughs> urban development. Is urban development. Yeah. yeah. Um, <laughs> <laughs> very little important. Uh, I am a, a specialist in quality management. That's great. Yeah. So, so, and I have also run a city for five years and I was serving the city for five years. I know the intricacies of urban governance, urban development, and I know how challenging this is. Yeah. <laughs> and given the so geo geo geopolitical situation, uh, what is the condition of utilities? You know, you've spoken about health, you've spoken about education, and I'm really amazed to know, I mean, uh, people in my country or in South Asia do not even know that we can have such a participatory form of school management, you know, where you have local government, where you have student representatives taking decisions. It's very interesting. But what about other utilities? Take, for example, mobility, because uh, water in or the, power, I mean, is it under the... City, dom uh, those kind of things is out of the responsibility of the city. Okay. okay. Is the regional. The provincial. Government. Okay. No, the region. okay. A, uh, we are uh, responsible for education, mm -hmm. health, mm -hmm. uh, order, and clinic. Mm -hmm. clinic sanitation. Uh, sanitation. Mm -hmm. uh, and we are responsibility of culture and sports. Okay. And you can go a little uh, more uh, forward mm. that your responsibility, but with a lot of taking care of uh, the loyal, mm. the, the legal uh, forms. Mm -hmm. uh, we are we have a very strong work in innovation and promoving uh, the economic development mm -hmm. of the society. Okay, so that, how, how, I mean, what is this innovative approach that you have? What is this innovation or innovative approach? All how do you do I that? I tell you, yeah, yeah. Are, uh, okay, part of that. Or innovation in political, Okay. no? But uh, still we have, uh, when we came to the city, uh, the, how is it? The, the, the um, um, the parking. The parking. Okay. When we came to the city, so that's a mobility. I was more curious yeah. to know because mobility is really hunting the cities. The parking badly. was a uh, privatization. Okay. In all the right. uh, uh, commercial centers. Daniel, just just one question before you just elaborate this. How many cars do you have in your city? How many cars? Oh, the private cars. cars in your city. Because that will give me an idea. 
I know, I know um, the number of cars in my city Maybe and how. 100,000. Oh my God, that's huge. <laughs> that's almost 50% of your population. Yeah. How do you run a city even in such a situation? <laughs> No, yeah. in Chile today there are more phones and cars than people. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Because uh, we have a uh, bring uh, the Chinese cars. Ah, and okay. The Chinese cars make the cars cheaper. Okay. Uh, 50 years ago, the cars were a luxury object. Okay. Today. But don't you think this has to be altered? Cars is not the solution. I mean, you know, yeah. running a city, it's yeah. public transport which is a solution. Yeah. Is this. No, no. The public uh, transportation is a part of the solution. Yeah. But the part more important of solution is the 15-minute cities. Okay. Uh, we understand the uh, intelligent cities, not like these cities that uh, uh, in which the technology can help you to not see the problems of the city. The intelligent city to us is the kind of city that can resolve the most of uh, most important needed of the people at uh, a walking time of 15 minutes. Mm -hmm. So uh, you have to know in the neoliberal city, the service are concentrated where the demand yeah. is, mm -hmm. no? So in the poor uh, city, Na neighborhoods, the poor yeah. neighborhood, you don't have anything. Mm -hmm. In my city, in our city, uh, we don't used to have uh, optical uh, mm -hmm. stores. Never. 220,000 population. Uh, population don't have pharmacies, don't have opticals, don't have a library don't have a bookstore mm -hmm. in a city of 220,000 okay. people. Yeah. No? Uh, so all us people to get the things have to go far and to buy. When you come and uh, build this uh, kind of service into the city, you are avoiding no, a, a lot of troubles. But my, so, my, my point is, Daniel, if you have more cars, what is an average com time uh, for the commute for a worker? The average, because in India, I can, I can tell you, in India, the average distance that a worker travels is not more than seven to eight kilometers, which means the average worker doesn't require cars. I mean, that's why we are focusing on public no, transport. I understand, yeah. and I agree with you. Yeah. But uh, the problem is to interview the uh, neighborhoods mm -hmm. you know, to make the life more simple. Mm -hmm. If you have to go far to work, you can you mm -hmm. cannot change. You no, know? uh, maybe to make some sports, especially mm -hmm. you can change mm -hmm. because. It responsibility is in the mm -hmm. uh, upper local, uh, upper level of government. Mm -hmm. But we can change to uh, more or less impact the 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 trips okay. into the city to the people. Mm -hmm. No, and we can change uh, the time of travel uh, to work. We can change the time of travel to a lot of things, but to buy medicines, to buy mm. uh, glasses, to buy books, uh, to make sports, to have culture uh, in your neighborhoods, yeah. in your neighborhoods, in your mm -hmm. immediately neighborhoods, we can do it. Mm -hmm. So uh, we uh, we make a city more intelligent mm -hmm. because uh, began to live uh, without depending on on trips. So, what are the major modes of transport? You have buses, you have private cars. It's from the provincial government. Okay. No. Oh, okay. And this is not your problem. In, in, oh, the the no. in our country, all the public uh, transportation is, is provincial private. or private. It's private. Oh, my God. Okay. But the order of that okay. is for the local government. Local government. The, okay. the regulation. Okay. But all, well, you have to know. In Chile, we have the country that it's more 
puro neoliberalism yeah, yeah. all over the world i'm aware of it yeah, yeah. so near that this country yeah yeah no, i'm happy that some interventions are now, the last question Daniel, and that pertains to i mean i got some glimpse from your participatory mode in the schools i mean how do you make it more comprehensive more participatory where every member of the society gets uh, like we in India, we have one constitutional amendment. It, that doesn't work, by the way, where all the decisions must be bottom top, you know, in the in the in the city government. The so how do you yeah? The, so how do you structure that? I mean, is it a provincial job or is it a city government job? Uh, I've, I've already got a no, glimpse. It's a yeah. Party job. Party. Oh, it's a party job. Yeah. It's not the government job. No. So how do you make it? Because Lenin says, Lenin said. Uh, that the communists uh, never have to run uh, before a boat. No? Yeah. <laughs> uh, you must work every day to make better the life of the people who is around you. Yeah. If you make that all the days in your life, yeah. will come the boat, will come belief, will come trust, will come everything. Yeah. To you, no. That is the more important things that the left side have forgive uh, forgotten, forgotten, yeah. excuse, uh, have forgotten yeah. all over the world. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Because today the left side, some part of the left side, are divided, and they have became to the governments all yeah. over the world in the thirty years, and they have changed nothing. Yeah. No, so but how do you structure that? My point is, how do you structure? Say, for example, you're running a city government. How do you structure the whole process? It's just the party or is it the no, structure it's of the governance? No, it's the party. party. <laughs> because 20 years ago, uh, uh, in our city, the Communist Party used to have 2% of the votes. votes yeah, yeah. We make a strategic plan mm -hmm. uh, in 2001. Mm -hmm. And the name of this uh, strategic plan was Recoleta 2012. What does that mean? That in 2012, we we are going to win oh, the government okay. local okay. of the That's city. interesting. No? Okay. From 2001, 2%, we uh, get uh, 11% in 2004. The 18.5% in 2008 okay. and the 41% in 2012. 12. Uh, after that, uh, we renew the trust with the people uh, in 2016 with uh, 54%. And in the last election, and it's my last election because I can't yeah. go for another uh, period, we reach 65%. Oh, that's amazing. Yeah. And two thirds of Majority. the council. Council, okay. No. That's so interesting. There's a form of uh, understand the political work that is only with the people. Mm. And Great. always with the people. You know, mm -hmm. I have um, a custom, you know, with my little group of uh, direction uh, of the party, you no? Know? All days, all days, I have to go to uh, the house of a citizen. Mm. And in this house that the citizen, the, the neighbor uh, invite us, uh, he invite their neighbors, his, okay. his neighbors. Okay. Okay. No? And I have uh, two meetings with about uh, 25 or 30 persons a day. And I have the objective to meet 50 uh, persons a day. Every day? It's every day. Oh. It means uh, 250 persons a week. That's amazing. And it means that's amazing. Uh, 100 persons, okay. uh, 1,000 1, persons okay. uh, a month. And so it means... That is also done by the council members or just you as the mayor? Me and the council, council members, members of the party. Party, yeah. No. And this uh, uh, seems that in a year we meet with more than uh, 11,000 people mm. 
because the party give me yeah. uh, one month of vacations. Okay. <laughs> you say me, no? Or you uh, get vacations. Uh, you okay. know, with, uh, in this meeting, yeah, all yeah. days, yeah, yeah. we are discussing with people political, okay. philosophy, economy, uh, okay. issues, and everything. And because Even general you, development of yeah, the city. If you can structure the cultural okay. change yeah, yeah. by the top, that's very interesting. Uh, by, yeah. by the base, base yeah. uh, of the citizen, you can. That's really that. amazing. This is the only way. We, you know, mm. there's an idea today that the principal fight is in the media mm -hmm. and is in the social uh, networks. Mm -hmm. you know? True. Uh, I think it's very wrong. Absolutely wrong. Yeah. This fight is very important because uh, the dominant class have uh, these instruments to uh, give the people uh, their ideas. Yeah. But, but we can, uh, Lenin used to say too that you can, you must uh, make the fight that you can win. <laughs> true, that's true. So in the media <laughs> yeah. fight, yeah, yeah. we are not going not to win. win. So where can we win? And in the, in the, the social network, yeah, yeah. Uh, we can give yeah. important fight, yeah. but we are not going to win. Not going to win. In the only fight that you is, are going to win yeah. is so. staying all days with people, people. Yeah, and that's where, where organization, you're going to get unity yeah. and fight. That's where you're going to get protected also. Thank you, Nella. I mean, it was lovely. I would have uh, really loved to speak more, but you know, for the paucity yeah. of time. Uh, but it was really interesting to know what is happening in Latin America, one small city. I mean, your population, and my population are quite similar, by the way. Yeah. I am also a population of 220,000. But of course, I am at an altitude of 8,000 feet above sea level. It's a very inter interesting thing that uh, in Latin America, a lot of majors today are becoming to be presidential candidates. Okay. No? So I wish the this, same to you. <laughs> exactly. This kind yeah. of work in a, a little city yeah. make us become better. Yes, yes. Great. Thank you so much. It was lovely talking to you. And uh, yeah, that was lovely speaking to Daniel, who's a great friend and of course a great friend of the people, I must say, and you know, who really brought in the Linus principles of how a fish lives in, in, in the sea. That's what Lynn said. And that's how we have to be. And, uh, you know, also how the structures that we build for, uh, for more participatory governance, both uh, in the electoral terms as well as in party terms. I think it's been phenomenally, uh, I mean, uh, uh, a kind of class for me, you know, I really learned a lot and pr perhaps uh, friends in uh, South Asia would also give a, uh, will get a glimpse of what can be done and, and I think what needs to be done. Thank you so much, Dan.